There's so many traps in trading, so many things that could go wrong and so many beliefs that you could have and I could have that could absolutely be wrong. And that's why in this video I wanted to share with you what I've personally learned from the world's best options traders and I'm sure that you already know some of them and hopefully you will be able to learn something that will maybe help you to improve your trading. And if you like to see this type of content and you like to see more videos like this one where I share some of my experiences and what I've learned, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. That's the best way to let me know that you like to see more videos like this one. And the first trader that I would like us to learn from is called Paul Tudor Jones. And if you don't know him, well, during the crash of 1987, he's known for having really made a lot of money during what we call Black Monday. I'm sure you already heard about what we call Black Monday. It was the 1987 crash. And he's known for having tripled his capital during this Black Monday. Where everyone lost money, he made a lot of money. And Paul Tudor Jones is managing a hedge fund that is managing billions. He's also himself worth billions. Well, you know, the guy knows what he's doing. And as much as the trades that he takes are super interesting to understand why he's taking the trades that he's taking, some principles that he shared with the public really struck a chord with me when I started learning more about options trading and trading in general. That's why I wanted to share it with you today. And the advice that he shared with the public is don't be a hero, don't have an ego, always question your ability, don't ever feel that you're very good because the second that you do, you're dead. And honestly, that advice only really changed changed my trading journey forever when I was starting out. Because you see, it's so easy when you start getting into trading and you start learning more about it, that you start thinking that you know something that other people don't. It's so easy to start becoming overconfident and that's what we call the confirmation bias. And you start looking for information that is going to validate your belief. For example, you think that technical analysis works? Well, the only thing usually people are going to type on internet is why technical analysis actually works. And that's exactly the problem that people are facing. They are not questioning what they believe is true. They're only trying to reinforce what they believe. And that's what a lot of people are facing in training. They think that they know something. They think that they have a strategy that other people don't. And that's when you start thinking like this, that you stop learning. That's when you start thinking like this, that you stop making progress because you think that you already know something. But that will exactly be the reason why you will fail miserably. And don't get me wrong, if at the end of the day you're making money and you've been doing this for years and years and years, well, what's the point? of changing it because in the end the goal is to have positive returns so if you already have positive returns for years and that's where the key is for years then don't change anything but if you've only been trading for a couple of months or for example you're using a strategy that you've only been testing for a couple of trades and you think that you know something that other people don't and you feel very good about yourself I can tell you that you're probably wrong unfortunately and that's really where the principle of always trying to question yourself comes into play it's so important to always try to to question what you think is right and why it would actually be wrong. And that's something that I faced myself so much. At the beginning, I was using only technical analysis. And that's a tool that is very popular, especially among new traders, because it's very easy to grasp and it's something that is visual, so it's quite attractive. But after month and month of trading using that technical analysis, I could see that I didn't have the results that were at least advertised on Google, YouTube and everything. But that's only when I started questioning this belief that I had in, for example, technical analysis that I started actually progress. And instead of asking myself, why would I be right? I started asking myself, why would I be wrong? That I started making progress. And you see this type of thinking where you start questioning your beliefs is nothing new. That's how any scientific process actually works. When a scientific person comes with a new hypothesis about a certain subject, they don't ask themselves, why would they be right about the subject, about the hypothesis? They ask themselves, why would they be wrong? And that's a huge difference because instead of seeking for information, that would reinforce their belief, they seek for information that would actually debunk what their new hypothesis is. They start looking for information that could prove them wrong. And that's when a whole scientific community is trying to debunk a new hypothesis and they can't actually debunk it because they can't prove it wrong. Well, that's when we call that a certainty. And that's exactly what I've been going through. That's when I started asking myself, well, why would technical analysis, for example, talking about it, why would it be wrong? Why would it not work? And that's by thinking like this that I actually started thinking, well, if I could backtest these type of indicators, I could know for a fact if it's actually right or wrong. That's why I started learning programming and that's when I started doing my own backtest and that's where I started progressing more and more. And that's how I came from using this to start learning about options, volatility, implied volatility, realized volatility, and that's how you progress and that's just a journey. And now I can say for a fact that I know a lot more than what I saw it, but I don't believe by any mean that I know everything. I still believe that I have a lot to learn and I haven't seen everything 
everything at all. But at least I know that having this principle of always trying to prove why you would be wrong is the best way to progress. Because that's when you start thinking that you know something that other people don't and now you've seen everything that you could have learned, well that's when you start losing money unfortunately. And Paul Tudor Jones said something else on top of it. He said you adapt, evolve, compete or die. And that's so true especially in training. Whether you learn, whether you evolve, whether you try to question your beliefs or you stay where you are but you lose money. Because trading is in the end a competition. Whether you make mistakes and that's completely fine of doing mistakes, I do plenty of them on a daily basis. Whether you do mistakes, learn from them and progress or you'll get crushed every time and that's just how the game is. For example, if you've been buying options around earnings and you see that every time you actually lose money, well start questioning why buying options around earnings wouldn't work. And for example, the reason could be about the implied volatility crush. By the way, I've made a video on the subject if you want to check it out that explains on how you could actually take advantage of the IV crush. And regardless if it's buying options, selling options or whatever you're doing, if it doesn't work and you've been doing this for month and month and month and you're still losing money, and instead of asking Google why buying options around earnings would work, start asking the opposites, why buying options around earnings wouldn't work. And you start questioning your beliefs, that's the best way to progress. Because usually people who don't progress and that's in anything, it's not because they're not smart or anything, it's just because they don't want to question what they already believe in and that's because of the ego. So you really need to leave your ego at the door. We don't really care who's right or who's wrong, we're just trying to in the end make positive returns in the markets. Because if I had let my ego be on my way, I would have never understood everything that I understand now and even though I don't think that I know everything not at all at least I know that I know way more than what I used to in the past. And now that we talked about Paul Tudor Jones I'd like to introduce you one also of the greatest traders of our time Red Dalio and he's written a book called Principles that is one of my favorite books because there's a lot of principles obviously but it's a really amazing book and one of his principles that I'd like to share with you is to stick and embrace reality and the reality of hedge funds is that some corporations and hedge funds are spending billions and billions in technology and infrastructures so as to have a competitive edge meaning so as to have an advantage over the people that also trade and that edge will allow them to earn more money than the others and when you start understanding the reality of the markets and when you start really embracing it you start really questioning everything that you see and why would hedge funds spend billions and billions in infrastructures when you could just follow a simple three-step process as advertised on YouTube, Google and everything that you can see. And I don't really care about what anyone is advertising out there but I'm just saying that you need to have a critical opinion about what trading is about, what is the reality of trading so you can actually progress yourself. And I know that asking yourself this type of question and actually start questioning your beliefs is something that is very uncomfortable because maybe you've been doing this for a month, maybe you've been doing this for years and it would be very uncomfortable to start questioning your processes now that you've been doing this for years and years. But in the end we don't really care if you've been doing this for years and years. What's important is to always remember the goal is to make positive returns in the market. And I hope you enjoyed this video where we talk more about principles of training rather than just mechanical things like how to choose strikes and stuff like this. And if you'd like to see more videos like this one where I share my opinion and experience in training, don't hesitate to subscribe and liking this video. As I said it's the best way to let me know that you'd like to see more videos like this one. Please take good and informed decisions. I'll see you in the next video and in the meantime I wish you all the best.